I know. I owe you everything. Marina, I'm sorry we couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her. She married you to Silva? Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you. You gave me as a chance to win. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you for all. That's it. Where are you guys going to go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York. Um, go back to Chin. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm right there for this. I know what. Uh, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. Hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things happen. Maybe I went to a fire in the sunshine. Snow. I'm just waiting to be there. I got a kid coming. You know how it is. You know, I, I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this year we'll put a bullet in you. Maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. You ready to look after yourself, Max? Huh? Life is for living. You say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> Not it. You ready? Yes. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you got, and it's not very nice. What is it? It's the new thing. Mr. Becker. Trying to get the product. <laughs> yes. And the contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. As we know. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't me. A proper general. Mm, sure. So you're going to break him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk through. A real nasty thing to happen. Well, officially, there's nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, you can always try something a little more creative. The Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage. Awesome. Yeah. Leon Beck, we've been fired. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Huh? Ask your question. 
After all this time, time to find out what the hell is going on. Oh, ho, ho. Stunt helps some other civic minded people raise valid concerns about the community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side to help them in those. Thinking through that door, I'd be moved to any shield that never needed at all.
fucking luck. The last few prisoners were trapped in here. More present. Seems I was too. Security switch had to be in that booth. I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. It was Monday's arrest lodge, as far as I can tell, and no sign of anybody from No Esperanza. All of those poor bastards have been checked straight into the Imperial Palace Hotel.
I mean, I was gonna go back. Well, wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I ordered a double whatever they were drinking, drunk it, and blown my head off. Another dark 
rainy night, another police station, another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward, and nothing changes. Bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. All right. All right. Just keep firing, guys. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I can reminisce about the old days later. For now, there will be more pressing matters to deal with.
control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. It looks like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up half with a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later, someone's going to decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator, tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way. getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. It seemed the anti-drug squad had a few habits of its own. I saw the elevator doors were open. But the only friend I had left in that town. There was one thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo. It was that me and the local elevator were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Fuck. Fuck. No, 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 no. This is ridiculous. Fuck you. Fuck you all. This is stupid cunt with your motherfucker. I don't know. Yeah, in your face, bitch. Fuck you, Jesus Christ.
Holy Jesus. Oh, fuck me. Fuck you! Oh. I killed more cops than with cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. Yep. Well, we finally did it. Well, uh, AUP was with the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them all the money? Hmm. 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 I didn't 
heard, that would be long gone. up forever. Sal Paolo's own David and Goliath. I've been to Silver as a coward. He risked more than anyone. He'd never take a bribe. Mm. So, this is it. Going for I still need to know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. I'd spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo. Suddenly, Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems out to me. My old pal Serrano. We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king the Silver had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious employers. Three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was going to look good on the resume. And I was in for the company. How old Passos set up north to find a washed up gringo, act tough, play it dumb. Boy, did he ever deliver. starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running 
wanted to discover you were chasing yourself. Nothing I was going to find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. The bastards had me locked in. That would have been too easy. The doors were all locked. There had to be something else I wasn't seeing. something soon. I was going to be crying myself to a very long sleep. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. This was a waste of time. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. This isn't the time to watch TV. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end. Tape out of my head. Why 
I had hoped they killed, but I really felt I wasn't going to find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. What the pop 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 Goddamn security doors.
It was a little late to be thinking about precautions, but something told me this shit show was barely through the warm-up act. <laughs> Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, every one had meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. Okay, I'm done.